What did you learn from those weekly meetings with Coach Wooden? You know, I had two really cool weekly things that happened. I, um, I went to Coach Wooden's usually on Tuesday nights, um, but also I carpooled with Mark Gottfried and Lorenzo Romar. Oh, wow. I, I went to the same church. And I told them, look, if you let me carpool with you, I'll give you free babysitting. You guys can go out and date night. <laughs> nice. At everyone's kids. And honestly, if I were to say that two of the things I remember most, um, it's now 28 years later, I remember things that were told to me on those drives. And I remember things that Coach Wooden told me on those Tuesday nights. In fact, I shared one of those with my team the other night after we lost is Coach Wooden used to always tell me, one of the nuggets he must have told me so many times, he's like, never let the final score, good or bad, of your last game overshadow or define the journey of the season. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we had a really disappointing end the other night, and we didn't play our best. Um, and there's, of course, as a competitor, you want to learn. You want to hold the mirror up. You want to respond. You want to, um, you know, be better for that. But I don't want it to overshadow or define the incredible growth, the incredible accomplishments on and off the court of the season. And so that was one of those things that Coach Wooden just really enriched my mind with those things, and I needed it. I called on it the other night, and I needed it.